directly from the students of Airwaves Media. Bringing you news in and around Alma High School. You're watching The Airdale. Welcome to the Airedale. I'm Destiny Wheeler. And I'm Ben Mitchell. Today we'll be covering information for those considering going into the military, the boys' varsity basketball team, spring sports, plus much, much more coming up on the, the Airedale. Life can be pretty hectic, especially when it comes to deciding your future. Even though it can be hard, you can always rely on others for help and on this next news story for those who need advice for going into the military, Joshua Wagley has more to offer. There are many options for students to do after graduation. You have college, a trade or a vocational school, workforce, or the military. Here is some information for students going into the military. Well, I think there's three really important things that students should know before going into the military. Uh, the first and foremost would be self-motivation. Don't join the military just because somebody else wants you to. Don't join the military because mom and dad thinks that's what you need to do. Or don't join the military because that's what a grandparent, an aunt, or an uncle did. Join the military because it's something that you've researched and that you feel passionate about and it's what you want to do. Because if it's not something that you want to do, it's going to be a miserable experience. Do your research, right? In other words, learn about the different jobs, learn about the different careers, and find a career that is important to you. Find the job that interests you, and then find the branch of military that offers that job. Many people focus on the branch of military first, and then try to find a job, and, and are not happy in the job. As mentioned before, you want to do research and choose a job that you like before going in. Here is Lieutenant Commander Raymer with more on what jobs you can choose. Uh, so the military has just about the same jobs that we have in the civilian sector. You know, we, for example, we have aircraft mechanics, we have diesel engine mechanics, we have heating and air technicians, we have construction, we have medical, we have dental, and the list goes on and on and on. My recommendation to somebody for that, for the career field, would be to choose a career field that interests you, but also choose a career field that is of value after your military career. The military is not as everyone sees it, and there are many different opportunities not mentioned in this story. But everyone is bound to their own opinion. If you take this into consideration, do your research, and talk to your family or someone you know before truly deciding. For Airways Media, I am Joshua Wagley. There are several things that our Alma High School yearbook program does to showcase our school, but what does it take for students to be on the yearbook staff? Here's Kana Jones with the latest scoop. Yearbook is a class that captures the memories of the high school community throughout the entire year. It can impact many people including the students, teachers, staff, and even the foreign exchange students. We asked Ms. Grannon how she thinks that it affects people, and here's what she had to say. Uh, I think it's a way for the community to go back and look at what's done in years past, how things have changed, and it's just a way for everyone to reminisce about what happened throughout the year. Yearbook might seem like an easy class, but it's filled with many challenges. We asked Ms. Grannon what some of these challenges are, and here's what she had to say. Well, this is my first year to do yearbook, so most of it is pretty challenging, especially with deciding what changes we want to make and what do we want to, uh, to stay the same. We asked a couple of students why they joined yearbook and what advice they would give to someone who wants to join. I love doing photography and it's always been one of my big things of being in yearbook is like editing, creating, yeah. Make sure that you capture pictures in the moment. Like don't be afraid to like take pictures because oh it looks bad like you can, the turnout can be good. Lastly, we asked a couple of students what their favorite memory of being in yearbook was. Definitely the trip of creating the cover for the yearbook whenever we went to Russellville or like just any day in yearbook. The yearbook is not just a collection of photos, but a reflection of the friendships, accomplishments, and growth that we have experienced over the year. 
Send your thanks to Yearbook, the people who work tirelessly to capture the memories of this school. This has been Kana Jones for Airways Media. Hey, you're supposed to be at school as much as you can. We, we all know that, right? Anyways, here's Peyton Griffith to tell you exactly why that is. There are a set of punishments if you miss too many days of school. We spoke to Dr. Reeves about it, and this is what he had to say. Generally, your parent can excuse four absences a semester without a doctor's note. Anything after that has to have proper documentation, which means a doctor's note or if you had to go um, to the dentist, you know, the, all proper notes. If you have a, a lawyer that you're having to go see, they'll send you an official note. All those things are official documentation for why you're out. When you hit seven unexcused absences, that is when the juvenile office wants to know about it. Uh, and so what we do is we send your information to the juvenile office, they review your attendance, and they may send you a letter saying you need to make sure it's school. On top of that, and generally before I send it to the juvenile office, I'm gonna to try to get you to do some Saturday schools or reach out to see if somebody can excuse some absences if they haven't yet. There is a certain amount of days that you can miss until you have to go talk to the principal. It's, it's no different. If you had perfect attendance and an F in a class, well, you didn't credit the class. There's two things that it takes to succeed. You need to be where you're supposed to be and you need, need to do the best you can do. Well, in the first scenario, perfect attendance, so I was where I was supposed to be, but I had an F in the class. I didn't do my best. If you don't do your work, then you don't get credit. Remember, when you stepped on this campus, and it's the same in any campus across this nation, when you start in the ninth grade, you are trying to accumulate credits to graduate. This is Peyton Griffith with Airways Media. I'm a quiz bowl season has just recently ended with our team in fourth place in regional competition. We've got Abigail Spencer to talk about their win. Alma Quiz Bowl recently competed in their last competition of the season. Both the senior high and ninth grade teams placed fourth at the regional competition. Let's talk to the coach about this season. This is last Saturday in DeQueen, Arkansas, where in both competitions we finished fourth. That's like a district or a regional tournament for any other sport. If we were able to place at that, usually we go on to a state competition. Quiz Bowl members dedicate every Wednesday to after school practice. It's a lot of self-study, really. And at this point, they've seen a lot of questions, and we're going to continue to grow. We got fourth place, which was pretty good. Um, we have to get at least third place to go on to the next tournament. So that's a bit sad, but we had fun and did our best. And next year, I believe we'll do better, and we'll hopefully get to go on to the next tournament. The teams didn't move on to state this year, but with their dedication and practice, I don't doubt that they'll move on the next. This is FFA is an organization that will certainly make you feel good. With their career st skills being both tested and strengthened in this club, here's Caden Daspit with more. FFA, Future Farmers of America, is an organization here at Alma High School. With Lakeland Brumley as an advisor, this club helps to develop students' potential for premier leadership, personal growth, and career success. They accomplish this goal through agricultural education. To get a deeper look into just how the organization operates, we interviewed Lakeland Brumley herself to give us an inside look. FFA is a student-led organization that falls under career and tech ed within agricultural classes, um, and it's intertwined within the curriculum, so it allows, it gives students the opportunity to compete in leadership and career development events that help them prepare for their future. This organization also goes to events such as career development competitions and leadership camps. Students will go in with their team, um, they'll be split up and they will compete on a various, various items. Some of those include wildlife, so they may have to score deer or age jawbones or identify various wildlife tracks. Overall, FFA helps students prepare themselves for the future in agricultural careers. This has been Caden Daspit with Airwaves Media. All State happened recently for the choir members at Alma High School, and we've got Ben Mitchell to share a little bit. Deep inside the labyrinthian hoarded halls of the AHS corridors, the choir room lies dormant. Inside this room lies an even deeper a seated group known as the All Region Choir Members. Anyways, on a more serious note, All State competitions happened recently for the choir's All Region Members. Speaking of, here's some of them right now to speak on it. 
Allstate is for the group of high schoolers and sometimes freshmen in choir. When they make high enough chairs in all region, they get to go and compete to see if they can make it into the top choirs in the state of Arkansas. So what happens at Allstate Clinic every year is that you go all the way from Alma, Arkansas, all the way to Hot Springs. You get your three prepared song pieces and you have to learn those and memorize those. They take a certain segment of the song and... And then you go in front of a judge and you sing those and you get all of the musicality and that stuff. Basically grade you on your audition and based on how well you do on your audition, you're placed into a band. Um, there are three bands you can make. Um, there's concert band, symphonic band, and wind ensemble. If you make the top band in region, then you can be eligible to try out for Allstate. Allstate is the best of the best. Let's all wish these gremlins the best of luck placing well, and this has been Ben Mitchell for and with Airwaves Media. Chess Club has been a thing at AHS for a while, but what do people even do in Chess Club? What's the point of joining it? Sarah Nutt gives a look into this game and its corresponding club. Chess. It's a game that's been around for hundreds of years, and it's enjoyed by many people around the world. The students of Alma High School enjoy this game so much that they have a specific club for the game and play it competitively. Mr. Merritt, the sponsor of Chess Club, has more to say on the subject. It's a game that requires um, you to have a lot of strategic thinking. It's very easy to learn how to play, but it's extremely difficult to master. So there's a wide range of ability there in chess, and so you can get into it easy, but you also have a lot of room to work and grow um, when you play it. Uh, I try to make it for literally anyone who wants to come. So we have a chess team if you want to go and compete, and we go to actual tournaments, we go to regional tournament, um, we go to state tournaments, we do that sort of stuff, but we also have just things for casual people or people who've never played before. Kaden Conthran, who just got back from regionals last week, shares his views on chess. There's really nothing like chess like in normal sports. There's, I feel like randomness or like your athletic stuff can get in the way, but with chess, it's really just straight on, like your hard work and working on your mind. I think that people should just join chess club and see how it is. It really is a fun game. The hardest part really is learning it. Um, chess is not as complicated as people think it is. This has been Sarah Nutt with Airwaves Media. From the various clubs around Alma High School, our club has several things to impart on young artistic minds that is useless to degree, disagree with. But what exactly does this club offer? Now let's turn to the one with the answers, Peyton Phillips. Art club is an amazing club. It is filled with fun things to do based around art. But what does art club technically do? Um, art club is a club that helps aspiring artists either achieve their drawing goals or learn to develop their artistic abilities. Really what we do is we officers will post either videos that we've made or videos that we've taken off of social media and we will post it with an assignment onto our Google Classroom where students will look at the assignments and they'll either like take a picture of it and will draw and take a picture of their artwork and turn it in or they will show us either when we meet up in RTI or whenever they see us. It is a very fun club to be in with friends. They also have helpful videos for students to watch online so that students can improve their art. Art Club is a club that works on helping students who don't really feel like joining in art classes or don't have enough time in their schedule to, to help develop their artistic abilities. Mainly, it's to help you understand your style as an artist. Every, uh, everybody knows that artist. Art club is also a very good club to be in if someone cannot currently take an art class. This has been Peyton C. Phillips for Airwaves New Media. Alma's basketball season is coming to an end. So, let's take a look at how the Airedale season went overall. Here's Lewis Alexander to pass this information to us. Alma Varsity Boys Basketball has had an insane basketball season this year, winning 21-10 overall and 13-1 in conference. Becoming the 5A West Conference champions, we spoke to Coach Lincoln to reflect on this season. Uh, we'll just reflect on um, how important it is for us to play together. 
Um, I think we really did a good job of that this year, and uh, I think everybody just needs to continue to play to their strengths and then understand what their weaknesses are, and then we'll use this offseason to develop those things so we can get better in areas that we're not strong in. And I think when we get to the state tournament, because we've been there before now, we'll be more comfortable when that moment comes, when we get back there next year. And then so the fact that we're all going to be more comfortable, that we're going to better just settle in and just play our game and just know that we belong and then, you know, have a better outcome than we did this year. 325 left on the game clock. Kermani Smith outside box shoots his high arcing three. Good! Big shot for the Airedales who lead it by five and a timeout, Dominic Lincoln. Holy cow! This is Lewis Alexander with Airwaves Media. Thank you for watching. The soccer season just recently kicked off at Alma High, and Shayla Ritchie along with Carter Downs are here to score us some bonus information. Soccer recently started here at Alma High School. We asked Coach Sturdivant how he feels the season is going so far. Uh, I mean, we're just now getting really into the first full week. We played Monday against Prairie Grove and won. Uh, we went last night to South Saw and, and lost 5-2. to two. So we're still just trying to kind of find our identity, uh, see who can play in what position, see um, if there are any younger kids that can help us out. Um, but, I mean, most of it is just kind of a mixed bag right now, just trying to get things dialed in until we get to conference play. You may be thinking, what's the goals for this season? Here's Coach Sturdivant with his thoughts on the subject. Uh, we have a, a few goals. One, um, and we reiterated it last night, is just to be more disciplined. Like make sure that we're doing all the little things on and off the field right. Um, and we preach self-discipline all the time. The others like communication, teamwork. Um, our big team goal is uh, to just have a better season, try to get into the state tournament. This has been Carter Downs and Shayla Ritchie with Airwaves Media. Baseball is a very common pastime to enjoy among U.S. citizens, and you've got it, it's baseball season. J.J. Stovall and Devin Reed give us some insight on this year's baseball season here at Alma. With baseball season just around the corner, people must be wondering what the coaches' expectations are for the season. The team has been working very hard to build their strength and stamina for this upcoming baseball season. Well, this is what Coach Fry had to say. Uh, we have high expectations this year. You know, we have a lot of guys that return from the roster. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of seniors been, you know, three, four-year starters, and so I think I think the expectations this year is, you know, make a make a run at the conference, and then you know have a have a good postseason state tournament. The team has had a lot of tough competition ahead and have to do everything they can to prepare for the season. It's the same conference as last year. It's, it's a tough conference to be in. You know, we're in a conference with, uh, you know, a guy, you know, Van Buren won the state tournament three years ago, state runner-up two years ago. And so we're Greenwood, won conference last year. And so we, this conference is, you know, pretty tough. Every every Tuesday night, it's a, it's a battle for sure. This is Devin Reed and J.J. Stovall signing off with Airways Media. And the Airedale softball season has recently started too. Now here's Chris French and Kitten Huggins to inform us a little bit more about this exciting softball season. AHS softball is just around the corner and the Airedales have been working hard behind the scenes to prepare for the upcoming season. Coach Bakkenhus gave us a peek at what his team has been working on to help them achieve a good season. So it's just understanding what the situation in the game uh, kind of dictates for us to do. We're just really focusing on more of the strategy of the game right now in practice. But like I said, you know, the biggest thing that we're <clears throat> that we are, I would say our strength is right now is going to be our defense and just our fundamentals behind it. I, I thought we'd done a really good job. We also asked Coach about some games on the schedule and which ones he believed could be good for the team. Well, playing in the 5A West, you know, this conference is one of the best conferences in the state. You know, there's almost every single team you play has the opportunity to be in the state tournament, and they're good enough to be in the state tournament. So when you play teams like that, you know, you, you really have to have a good day every night. You know, you can't have some of them games where, you know, you can not play very good, but you still find a way to win. You know, if you're playing in our conference, you've got to bring it each and every conference game or somebody can beat you. Alma Softball opens up conference play with a doubleheader against Harrison on March 12th. This has been Chris French and Kenton Huggins with Airways Media. Thanks for watching this episode of The Airdo. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow all of our social medias at Airways Media. And as always, go, go Airdo!